I'm Barry Kendra with Personal Fence Network. I'm hanging out here with uh, Mike uh, of CMMG on the floor show at over at the NRA annual meeting. Uh, we're standing one of their newest uh, rifles to the market is going to be the Mutant. It's been very popular for you all, yes? Oh, definitely. Yeah, this is, we've had a lot of crowds in here. Everybody sees the Mutant sign, they're like, hey, I've been hearing about that. I want to hear more about it. Well, tell me, who's buying it? A little bit of everybody. Um, we're actually seeing a lot of people that are wanting to go out and they're wanting to do some hunting with it. Uh, I think a lot of people are actually getting into really recreational shooting with it too. I mean, it's it's a good inexpensive round. People are just, you're able to go out and shoot for pennies on the dollar versus a lot of other rifle rounds. They're just getting out and having fun with it. So y'all taking an AR rifle and basically redone the lower to be able to accept a standard AK magazine? Sort of. Uh, actually, what we've done is when we designed the rifle, we had two things we wanted it to do. For one, we wanted it to take any AK magazine. When I say any AK magazine, I mean drums also. So there's a lot of variants out there that don't even take drums. So that, that's one of the things about the AK round. It's got a tapered round. It needs that magazine to operate. So we said we need that magazine. The other thing is we really beefed up the bolt on it. So a lot of companies will do something like a 5.56 bolt with a face opened up on it. What that's going to do is actually, um, I'll grab some gun here for you. What a lot of people will do is they'll take this 556 five, bolt here and they'll actually mill open the face on it to something like that. Well, what that does is it actually makes this outer lip on here fairly thin, so it's going to be prone yeah, to it failure. Pretty thin. Yeah. So, what we decided to do is, like, you know, we make a 308. Let's just base it off of that. So, what we did is we took wanting to use an AK magazine and wanting to use this bolt and built a gun around it. So we went basically from scratch with a whole new lower, whole new upper. So we've actually created a mid-size upper and lower. So it's smaller than an AR-10, bigger than a 5.56. Um, it, it's completely proprietary. The upper is based on an LR-308 platform. So if you wanted to change the hand guards or something like that, LR-308 stuff will work just fine on it. But it still uses all standard AR components in the bottom. So if you've got a favorite trigger that you use on everything, guess what? Drop it in this gun, you're gonna be able to shoot it just fine. So it, it's kind of the best of all the worlds. You know, you get the reliability uh, of the 7.62 round, the AK magazines, you get the accuracy and the modularity of the AR platform itself, and win-win. Awesome, well, we're here again at the NRA annual meeting. We're on the show floor, come by and check it out. They've uh, brought an, AK, or an AR to the market. It accepts the AK magazines. You've talked about the parts that have been changed up in there. We've now got a reliable uh, AR platform uh, rifle that is running the 7.62 by 39. Awesome, guys. I appreciate your time. Hey, thank you.